Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm not sure exactly where I'm inserting this video. This might be a standalone video or it might not be. So let's get the intro out the way. So I'm a little over 11 months locked now and I just washed and retwisted my hair. I actually think this turned out the best so far. I'm gonna do a little 360 so y'all can see what's going on. So here's the top. Here's me. Here's the side. Here's the back. I'm about to show y'all a clip version. I should wait until after, but y'all gonna get this. I was trying to stop on to record anyway because I'm almost 12 months locked. I'm more like 11 and a half months locked, and I was really trying to wait to retwist my hair until it was officially the 12 month mark. But I have so much hair growing outside my locks, and I feel like it was better to just go ahead and do some maintenance because. I don't really want to deal with any more thinning locks because that's something I've been dealing with for the past two, three months. I feel like if it's hair going outside the locks, there's no way the lock is going to catch the hair, so it's going to be thin just naturally. But I was watching some videos earlier on YouTube and it was talking about how that's really something that's natural is not uncommon because some people's hair just grows like that and it's not like the whole entire of my head like the middle part of my hair is going fine like the hair is going into the locks but like along my edges and stuff like particularly along like like right here and like right here that's where the hair is going outside the locks and in the back too so yeah, so I just went on here, went ahead and retwisted. Hopefully that doesn't spoil my 12 month lock update. I don't think it will, but it'll be fine. I think I can buy one of these locks somewhere. Ooh. No, that's not it. Because, shoot, I think, oh, I tried to combine two over here, but I think it's harder to combine locks when it's wet. So I might have to just wait until my hair is dry to do that because I got a crochet needle. I got the thinnest one I can find. I'll insert a link to it below. Cause I'm sick of my thinning locks. And I recorded another video where I combined some locks. Not sure if I'm gonna share it because that video was a little all over the place. But if I did share it, I'ma link it down below or I'll put it in the card so y'all can actually see it. Is it called a card? I think it is. I'm not a new YouTuber anymore. I'm eight months in now, so I should know these things. But I combined two back here, but earlier today, I noticed that they were coming apart, so I just split them apart. I'll probably eventually combine them again, but I might combine them with the locks that's to the right of them instead of above it, if it makes sense. After I did it initially, I was like, I probably shouldn't have done that because I was like, the parting's gonna look really off. Cause I'm, cause my parts, they aren't straight as it is, but I feel like that was just too off. And I'm kind of happy. It, it was easy to take apart because I think it would eventually become the bother me, so. And I combined two locks back here and it's still doing fine. And I combined, uh, I'm trying to find the one so I can actually show y'all, but, but it's, I think I did these better than I did this one because I really can't tell anymore. It might be this one right here. But it's fine. I think the issue was that when I was combining them, I didn't interlock the root before I crocheted it. So the root wasn't gonna stick together. The roots of both locks wasn't gonna stick together or wasn't easily sticking together. Where is it hard today? <laughs> Sorry, it's Friday. But I think that was the issue with this one. So I'm gonna just wait and see what happens. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna combine those two back here. And now I'm gonna combine two right here because it's some thin ones right here and my hair has always been thin on the edges so i'm not surprised that these locks are thin because i don't think it's anything that i'm doing wrong with my hair necessarily that's causing them to be thin because i cover my hair i moisturize it oil it when needed I, I don't do too much to it to like cause thinning like i don't over manipulate it so yeah and I think those are the only ones, and it's, it's some thin ones over here along the edges too that I might combine eventually too because they're also having a hard time locking just because the hair along my edges is a little more fine than the hair that's in the middle of my hair. Yeah. <laughs> so I might have to um, combine them too, so we'll see. I'll keep y'all posted on that though, let y'all know how it goes. I, I'm pretty sure I'm, I am gonna combine two over here. I think it's having a hard time locking. So I think it'd be better to do it anyway. Cause they're they're thin, but not like too thin compared to the rest of my locks. 
because my hair overall is pretty thin to my standards and it's always been the way i've always had pretty thin hair since i was little like so i'm not expecting a drastic change because my hair is locked now i'm not surprised it is thin <laughs> so it's fine with me i like the way my locks are looking now i feel confident with them now and it's just been a good journey and I'll share more of that with y'all in the 12 month lock update video that's coming up soon. I'll be back after I take these clips out. Here's the final product. Um, I think it turned out really well. Really not noticing too much difference from last month. I feel like it grew a little bit more. Like, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I can definitely tell. And I feel like some of the locks that are in this area up here, I feel like they've gotten thicker. Which is like kind of weird because some of them seem to be not getting thick at all. And are remaining thin which had me thinking because I was thinking about this other day because my locks are really thin when I first started so I don't know if these locks that I, I've been saying are thinning locks just haven't gotten thicker I don't know if that makes sense but maybe they're not thin and maybe they just haven't gotten thicker but I don't know what would cause that I don't know I'm just have to keep watching my hair making sure I'm taking care of it and possibly combining the locks so I'm gonna show y'all the ones I'm thinking about combining which I can probably clearly see now this one right here, and this one right here, which I really couldn't even retwist that well because they just so thin and I didn't want to do too much to them. But yeah, it's these two. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I should wait to try to combine them and see if they thicken up or what. And then the other one I'm thinking about combining, um, actually, Oh, I did, I, don't, I did try to combine it. I might have to crochet, go back with my crochet needle and fix it up. It's this one right here. I'm trying to, trying to see if I can see it. Because it's really hard to kind of get the hairs to, to attach to one another because it was wet. So I might have to go through it tomorrow and try to do it again. But I did like loop the roots, interlock the roots, or whatever you want to call it. Whatever the right word is for it. I looped the roots. <laughs> I looped the roots around each other and crocheted a little bit. So I might go through with my crochet needle and try to fix that. I think there was some over here that I was talking about combining. Um, I honestly might wait on this side because most of these over here are, are kind of thin. Most of them are hidden anyway because my hair is like longer in this area. So it just kind of covers it anyway. So I might not even worry about those. But yeah, and here's the lock that I com combined. Um, last week so it's coming like some of the hair is coming out but i think this just like loose hair that was around the lock i don't think the two locks are coming around it, but the shape is kind of funny and i think that might be because of how i clipped it so i might run my crochet needle through this one again and the other lock that i combined there's another lock <laughs> sure it's somewhere up in here but i think that's the one that was the first one i did i think that might be the best one because Honestly, you have a hard time figuring out which one to do use. Oh, it's definitely this one. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Because that's the one I was missing with today. Okay, that's not it. But I think I did try to, like, twist a couple pieces of hair around each other right here. Because if y'all can see it, it's coming up loose a little bit. But, yeah. This is 11 and a half months right here. I'm going to insert a picture so y'all can see how I look when I first started. It's progress. And I'm really happy with my vlog journey so far. It's a lot of trial and error, but that's fine with me. Because I'm I'm enjoying it, and I look forward to being on this journey a lot longer. And seeing how my hair progresses and whatnot. And I really look forward to doing some styles one day soon. Because right now, that, that length where I'm just like, there's not a lot I can do with it. And also, I just don't want to put a lot of tension on my head, just given the thinning locks. I'm happy right now with these locks. 
might just leave them alone for the time being. Might not even worry about combining them right now. But if I do combine them, I'll insert that after this video <laughs> or at the end of this video. I don't know. We'll see. But if not, I hope y'all enjoyed it anyway. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.